More than four months ago, a man carrying a rifle entered Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, and began firing into classrooms. He killed 17 people that day, but in the wake of that traumatic experience, students from the high school launched a movement. As Delane Cleveland reports, that movement made its way to Osseo Senior High School. Thank you for being here. Yeah. Change doesn't come easily, especially when it comes to issues surrounding guns. They look at the country and they're like, like, what can I do to change any of this? But students from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida are on a nationwide tour hoping to defy the odds. The goal of this tour is to register as many people as possible, to educate as many people as possible, and to get people motivated to vote. Sunday night, the Parkland students made their way to Osseo Senior High for a town hall meeting, where a packed auditorium listened to them and other local students. Gun violence cannot be my reality. It can't be anyone's reality talk about issues surrounding gun violence. A lot of people are, are sick and tired of what's been going on in our country and they're, you know, they're following our lead and um, they're, they're just as much as sick of it as we are. Chris Grady is one of the Parkland students on this March for Our Lives national tour. The tour is aimed at promoting initiatives on gun reform. We don't touch the Second Amendment. Every single one of our policies is constitutional. Such as universal background checks and a ban on high capacity magazines. They specifically wanted to come to our district because our congressman, Eric Paulson, has taken NRA money and they're going around highlighting the districts where um, politicians have taken NRA money and have been traditionally voting against these kinds of reforms that they're asking for. Getting people registered to vote is another goal of this tour, along with energizing their supporters at every stop. When I heard they were going on a road to change, I was just crossing my fingers that they'd come to Minnesota and I knew I'd be the first one to sign up on a volunteering list. I knew I'd be there for it. Now the hope of this group is to keep the momentum going. This is democracy at work. I mean, this is what our country is about. In Osseo, delaying Cleveland, CCX News. While Congressman Eric Paulson has received money from the NRA, he has stated in the past that he supports a ban on bump stocks, which can turn firearms into automatic weapons. And he has expressed support for laws that allow police to seize guns from people deemed by a judge to be dangerous.